Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. And we're back with more Earthbound in the desert. Yay. I hate deserts. But I love Earthbound. It's a conundrum. Darn you, mole, back attacking me while I'm introing. He's playing rough, though. So I guess we'll just have to beat him up. There's no way around it. That is exactly how you make a playing rough null tame. You hit it with a frying pan. Cyan foes in the status menu, I see. Well, let's see if we can use PP to cure Sunstroke. Wait. Yes, we can. We can use PP to cure Sunstroke all day. Alright. Let's investigate more about this hole over here, because this seems... Wait, I don't think there's too much we can investigate about this hole, because that guy... What was this guy's business again? He's like, blah, 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 and the monkey's like, kya, kya. He's fasting. Standing from anything that would make him sick or smelly. I wonder if this is hinting at some sort of item I'm supposed to be using on this guy. I wonder. I wonder. But I don't think I have anything that fits that bill right now. Oh, this is a fight. Well, it's an auto fight, so that's fine. I kind of just wanted to talk to this mushroom bud that was in here. Well, that guy can live. Why not? <laughs> I don't want him to accidentally get me and uh, try to put mushrooms on my head. All right, let's get through us a skeletal scorpion. A skelpion! I don't think I have to worry too much about a Skelpion. Well, maybe, but I have a Franklin badge on, so lightning's not all that scary. Thankfully, I didn't stash the Franklin badge away as I thought it would still be useful. I was right. Alright, what, what do we find if we keep going up here? A present with a double burger. Why would I want a double patty burger that I find in the desert? That doesn't sound like anything I'd want. But maybe I do. Or maybe I just make note of that and come back for it. It's just a healing item. Or never come back for it. It's just a healing item. Oh, there's aliens in this desert. And they're teaming up with the scorpions. Why? Why, why, why? Alright, well... I don't think I want to play nice with this cute little UFO. As cute as it may be, I think it's deadly. You would not survive Earthbound without Escargot Express. Me either. I am I am definitely an RPG item hoarder. <laughs> exactly. So many things. So many things. The cute UFO is very cute. And that is why it must die. It's its exterior does not match its its power with its cute little bow and cute little eyes. I feel better now that it's frozen and ice. All right, I think we can probably just beat it up. It's frozen and ice for a turn. Bow go die. <laughs> Most people hoard things at RPGs, you might need it one day, yeah. There's a pizza? This thing has a pizza? I guess I'll throw something away, I'd much rather just like, have Paula eat one of these cheese bars right here, but... What do I want to throw away for a mysterious alien pizza? Oh, there's that jar, jar of fly honey that I thought might make uh, what's his bucket wretch. But I think I more want to tempt him with food, not make him wretch. Uh, well, okay, false alarm, no insect. Ha ha. I guess we'll toss one of these your cheese bars. Yeah, throw it away. Don't do it. 
But it's a pizza! Always trade up for a pizza if you can. Peanut cheese bars are a pizza. Mosquitoes are some kind of other bug. Uh, it seems to be like, it's not some mosquitoes. Whatever it is, it doesn't fly. It just like jumps. I don't know exactly what it is. Looks like a tiny coin of a bug. What was that? I missed that. Life noodles. Yeah, buddy. It seems that I might not get the sunstroke if I keep interrupting the game by getting in battles. I might be wrong. But I seem to not be getting the sunstroke. Ooh, another, another present. <laughs> I never ever. Am oh no! Somebody got the sunstroke, Jeff. It's okay, bud. Throw this wet towel over your head. Perfect timing. Now we got room for this double burger. There's an entire video explaining that and why the reason the mole was there. Hmm. Interesting. Wait. <laughs> I saw a cute buffalo thing and I was just like, yeah, let's go interact with that. And then I remembered, wait, this is Earthbound. That thing's bound to try to kill me. <laughs> Yay. Cute buffalo trap. Let's learn about this buffalo after we try to freeze it. It's got a very a lot of defense, vulnerable to fire and paralysis. All right, well, do we need to paralysize it, or can we just beat it up? There's a flag in the code that makes you invincible, and the game glitches out if you die and the flag is on. That makes sense. It <laughs> stops status conditions. Well, you're not invincible if you can be statisfied. What's in this? It's a Psy Caramel. Well, fuck having too much. We're gonna get that Psy Caramel. How's everybody doing on their stuff? Paula, eat. You gonna eat another one of those peanut cheese bars. Yes, you are. Mm-mm-mm. Have the side caramel for later. Be a dessert. Whoa! No, it's so fast! I forgot these things existed. I remember you. Crusted Buka and your friend, the devious cute buffalo. You're a bad buffalo. Alright, well. Uh. I don't think it's gonna be that serious. Let's hit that buff. Or hit that Buka. Freeze it real good and shoot it. Yeah. Shooting it good. Freeze it. Freeze it hard. Defeat it. Alright, yeah, we don't have to worry about no Buka. Ooh, Buffalo hits hard. Alright. Everybody just hit the Buffalo hard back. Matt 20 lost all motivation to battle. You're that mad about this Buffalo tricking you? I'm a little disappointed, but damn, this <laughs> went hard to pressure mode there for a second. Hey, you deserve that level up, Paul. You carried that fight. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Little things you learn about games that they program into fix quote-unquote bugs in easier ways than going into the code and changing how things work. Uh, none of your stuff is what I want. I want eat Paula. You got hit by a buffalo. Eat that cheese bar. Jeff. Why don't you give a cheese bar over to Nat, who also got hit by a buffalo. Sometimes I call him Nat, because that's what I named him. Sometimes I call him Ness, because that's his name. 
It's all random happenstance. The flag's why the shattered bag glitch happened. I do not know about that glitch. Right, the smiling sphere being in the fight has changed uh, the background music, and that is always a concern. I don't know if it should be, but it is. So we're gonna kind of bust this up with a big freeze. I still forget what that symbol stands for. I do not know my Greek alphabet as well as I could, I suppose. In the 27 was such a waste of pee pee. No. No. But all right, hit it again. Uh, uh. All right, why don't we just make Nest Nat really good at hitting it? Why don't you spy on it? Let's find more out about it. It's vulnerable to fire. All right. Didn't have a lot of defense, so hopefully hitting it does a lot once when he's five. And it explodes? Shit. 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 That's not good. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, uh, heal yourself up with that. Bash that. Oh, friggin', where's that pizza? Save Paula with the pizza. Paula didn't take mortal damage, but she's still gonna take a pizza. I panicked a little there. You only know Alpha, Beta, and Omega. Oh man, Nat still died. I'm gonna have to use them life noodles or something. Man. Make this guy go away. Whoa, alright, those things explode. Isn't that what happened last time? That's, this is sounding familiar now. Like, that's something I learned and now I'm relearning. But it's been days, so I forgot. Well. Does the secret herb have a chance to bring somebody back to life? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. Hickey Jabber! Aww. Shit, there's that other one coming right for me. Well, thank you, Skeddy Smash. Much appreciated for the follow. Ah. Well, that guy's right there, and he's about to get me. So use this skip sandwich. And dip! <laughs> Although death is not that important, you know, I'd rather not die right now. Alright, screw it. We're gonna cup of life noodles. And, uh... Let's drop some heals. Get everybody back up. <laughs> and 20 Paul and Jeff almost die. Yeah, danger. Oh, wait, is this? Did we find somewhere? Dusty Dunes head headquarters for finding buried the, for finding buried gold. I can't talk anymore. <gasps> There's a phone. Uh, I actually don't think I want to show back up here if I die. Unless this guy can heal me and stuff. Please stay the night. All right, good, 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 good. You can't, you can't bring people back from unconsciousness, though, so I'm not gonna save. Thank you for the heals. Thank you, kind sir. You're very nice. What's your deal? This hole's great! Good hole. Good hole. Good hole! First, someone asked me to dig for very gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. <laughs> Do you have any food you could spare? Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? Shit, did I eat all my food? Cause I'd like to spare him some that's not that caramel. Here bud, have this double burger. Thank you. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. Really? I mean, alright. Whoa, am I already sunstroked again? Man, Jeff. Step up, bud. You, we, 
We took a nap. We've been outside for like two seconds. Your son stroked already, bud? IRL, I feel legit. I feel Jeff. That's about how long it takes me to go outside in this sort of weather heat and be like, no! It's been 10 minutes in the sun, I'm dying. <laughs> if there is a danger for sunstroke, I am not meant for that area. Check Nat 20 status for a second. What about a status? Once Apollo got poisoned, so I need to do something about that. Ah! Heal Paula. What? Damn it. Better heal Paula. Alright, well. Even more heal Paula. Butterfly. Come here. No! No! Not in this! Not like this! Okay, the, the, the dead aliens there. Thought Ness was still homesick. Was he homesick for a bit there? I missed that. Alright, uh. Not too worried about this desert wolf, because we just fought one with little to no problem. I see. He must have lost it when he died. <laughs> At least that's my guess. Stop hitting Jeff. Please stop hitting Jeff. You're a bad buffalo. Oh yeah, start hitting Paula when I... Yeah, smash, it's over, Paula. Hopefully it doesn't take that much damage. That was an alright level up. Crap, this guy's still here. Uh, uh, Alright. Tina Groaning's gonna get me nowhere, go! No, shit! No, not like this! <laughs> I thought that buffalo was gonna make it over. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It just shows up and uses its surprise action to laugh maniacally. Cause it knows. It knows. Uh... So what? If I put up a big ass shield for us for when it explodes, will that, will that help? I think that might help. I hope it helped. Hey, you just keep laughing. I don't like it. Uh. Uh. I just want to pray, but that can backfire hard. Um. Drop a shield too, maybe. Oh, yeah. well, it's exploding now. Did this work? No, it didn't. It didn't work. Get out of here. Okay, but if it's the last thing left and explodes, then the fight ends before we take too much of that damage. Yeesh. I do not like that guy. Can I get a map, please? I, I do not like just wandering like this. See, because I, I backtracked here somehow. Because I'm just wandering. Ah, yeah, the sunstroke. Jeff again. Come on, Jeff. You're using all the wet towels, bud. Sudden guts! Well, that's kind of cool, but I think I want those in Jeff's pocket, because Paula's typically doing other stuff. Yeah, just... Just continue heading to the right seems like a good mentality. Maybe I shouldn't have tried going anywhere else. Because I'd very much just like to be done with the desert. That sounds like some, uh, some foresight.
Yeah, maps. And we're at four sides, so I guess I was wrong. Four side is the fourth place we go. <laughs> yes. Guess I was including the Saturn Valley. Alright, well, what shall we check out in Foresight first? I... What are people doing? Uh, let's... Let's check out this department store that is this giant tower. Let's talk to you. The runway 5 from Tucson seemed very popular. I hear that Topala Theater is always full. Huh, well let's check it out while we're here. I'll forget about it because it's not represented on the map. You want to buy a ticket? Sure. 30 bucks? Sure. Thanks. Please have your tickets ready. Uh. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. All right, well, let's say hi to the Runaway 5 while we're here. First thing we do when we go come to Four Sides, say hi to the Runaway 5. Ooh, this is a big venue. We are not talking to all of these people. Good, they, they, they do not want to talk either. Where do I sit? Where do I sit? Wait, this, this, this looks like maybe the front row? I talk to you for my seats. When Nat 20 arrives, the runway 5 told me to let him in, so please come in. Yeah, this is what we do. Hey guys, we owe you guys so much. Sorry. Eh. To meet Geldegard Montoli, you'll need our help. I don't know exactly why, it's just a hunch. Alright, well, I don't know who that is, but. Maybe you're two steps ahead of me, but I'll keep that in mind. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Do wop do do wop. Again, we've been cheated by the theater. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I wanted to talk to your cohort. We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yup, yup, yup. A real laughing matter. Quick, quick. Well, let's watch the show. I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids. Ah, ah, kaboom. The Runaway Five, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Ba -na -ba -na -ba -na -ba -na. Seems uh, far less coordinated this time, although I guess they had years of practice at the last venue. Yeah, they are very blues brothery, Auntie. I think uh I think it's supposed to be a direct reference. The song sounded familiar to you ten minutes later you listened to a song when you was in kindergarten. Hmm. Well should we talk to him post show? Are you gonna say some different stuff now? 
Let's go first with them. Let's go first. Nah. Alright. Farewell, guys. Stop signing contracts. No, I don't want to watch the show again. I... I'm sorry that I made you guys do an encore by walking back there to see if you'd say anything different. This is unskippable. Hey. <laughs> well? Guess we'll watch this again? And never go in that room again. Hmm. I'm alright, bumper starting to act up a bit. That's unfortunate. Dancing twos. Huh. Unfamiliar with that. Alright. Hmm. It still works, just feels weird. Not as weird as my Y button. Alright. What else is there? Oh, there's this whole other door for us to investigate before we blow the use of our tickets. Hello. So you're Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep duty with the police. The police will probably say, Hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf. You'd have to find like buried gold or something. Or you would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. <laughs> that was your favorite Earthbound line. It was a good one. Ugh. And that voice made me have to cough. <laughs> that amongst other things. Uh, where to go next? I want to go to, that, to, the, to the department store. Let's blow all of our hard-earned money. Dinosaur Museum. I, let's talk to you guys while you're out here. Speaking of the, uh, the Pola Theater, there's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runaway Five. I'm totally bonkers about her. What happened to those guys digging for very gold? If they found the gold, it would be worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to afford a million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan and live it up. I like how the game wants to hammer it into me. Yo, uh, there's a million dollar debt. It's the Runaway Fives. You know this bit. You've done it before. Pay the debt for them. Come on, you like... You like the Runaway Five sugar daddy. This eight-year-old. I wonder why the department stores close. Aw. Let me in! Let me in! Alright, fine. What? When Montoli became the owner, this department store began having strange happenings. Guar? And then that noise? Good noise. Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah, I figured I had to go back and visit that guy. I didn't know stepping in foresight side would be the trigger. Uh, actually, I figured the uh, talk, uh, seeing the uh, Runaway 5 event 
probably would have been the trigger, learning about their debt. It's just my hair playing tricks, I'm not gonna justify it by looking for bugs. <laughs> I've heard some bad rumors about Mr. Monotoli. I heard he made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, what else, what else do we got? There's the Dinosaur Museum, there's uh, all these other big buildings. I don't care about food, I think. Unless I can buy a side caramel. Maybe you do care. I don't get it! I heard this guy who looks like Monotoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place. I heard he goes, I heard he quietly goes in and out. You know, deals with normal stuff. Uh, yes, 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 The old guys at Mr. Monotoli was just a regular, in the old days. Unattractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Forside is better than before. No, that, that sounds bad. See you soon when you're back. Ness? Bakery. What do you have? Hmm. Maybe having. Oh, I don't have. Uh, I don't have money. Bread in this town is a very plain, nondescript flavor to it. To tell you the truth, I'm the owner of this bakery. I think the bread in this town having that flavor is your fault, lady. I read that sign. What's it say? Flavorless bread. First floor, four side bakery. Second floor, second floor of the bakery. But I can't get to the second floor, can I? Oh, I can. Howdy. I was thinking there's a tight wad born every minute. I mean, yeah. Not wrong, I guess. Well, that was neither helpful nor hilarious. Onward! Hey there, copper. Protect Mr. Monotoli first. The safety of the citizens of this city comes second. <laughs> That's our job, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know, and you know, but are you really supposed to be like telling everybody about it? I think that's sort of song you're supposed to be keeping to yourself there, copper. Oh, they won't tell me where the police station is, but if we just continue going down this, we'll catch that big Empire State Building looking building and the two other buildings before the hospital. Bum 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 bum. Ooh, do do. What is? Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Wait, do you even know what solitaire is? Y yeah. But why is there a tournament of it? That sounds weird. I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monazzoli's offices. Hello, babyface. What brings you to Monazzoli building? Mm, I don't know exactly yet. This seems like a much more appropriate place to drop a save in case I get murderized. Continue. We're never going to sleep, Dad! As far as you know, we're doing this all in one run. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Now quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else besides <laughs> somewhere else instead of behind me? Wait, you just said it was only for his use, and so now you're letting me use it. That's contradictory, lady. Thank you. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might get suspicious at you and take a pot shot at you with the machine gun. Oops. I was almost gonna beat you up. 
Private elevator. Not for operation by general public. Monotoli building manager. Is it... Is it Pokemon Atoli? He controls the police. Are the police gonna beat us up again? They, they might. We might have to beat more... More policemen. In Earthbound. Ugh. Oh, okay. You won't get away from me, kid. Get away from me, kid. That's that's a good contrast of what they say. All right, Pokey, bye. We're not talking to you yet. Let's see what's over here first. Let's see if it's your brother. Ah, uh, it's your dad. You haven't changed much, not funny. I'm Aloysius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has his day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. <laughs> oh my just time. Who's Pokey? Pokey was the annoying neighbor kid from the beginning of the game. Uh, and then he also showed up making a deal with uh, the pile of puke guy at some point. And that's, that's how he's risen to power is he's basically like teamed up with the enemy. Because he sucks. Ooh la la. This is my poor old friend. Uh -huh. What's your name? Pig's butt? No, no. It's not twenty. Didn't you come here to beg me for somebody? Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Okay. Get it? I'm now Geldegard Montoli's partner. And I give him political and economic advice. You're eight too. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Montoli. Was that you? That 20. This is a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser. Are we getting thrown out or are we fighting? Nah, uh, I guess, I guess Ness doesn't have it in him to beat up uh, Pokey's guards. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. Got that. Nah, let's be a problem. We're gonna be a problem. We're gonna be a problem. You can't kick us out. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Say the same thing? Like you, you're crazy? Like you forgot we just came in here and had this conversation 20 seconds ago? I get it. I get it. You're rich enough to do stupid stuff like that. Let him out. May we never have to deal with Master Pokey again. Of course. Of course we are. We break into here yet? No. But why would that be there if we're not going to use it later for something? Haha. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. This elevator's going down. Stop staring at my hips. We're not staring, lady. We're just we come to hip length, hip height. We're we're eight. We're just we're staring at. Him. Oh, well, let's get out of here with the pokey. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you're a different copper, right? You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you no questions asked. Be prepared. Got in that 20? He knows my name. I already checked out your name. <sighs> he knows I'm concerned about him knowing my name. Dun, dun. Dun 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 dun
This car is literally trying to run me over and kill me. It's got a face and bloodlust. And I'm in shock. Okay. Yeah, Paula. If, if a car suddenly became sentient and tried to run me over forever, unless I destroyed it with toys and psychic powers, I think I might start crying too. Jeez. Okay, Paula. Uh, freeze it in its tracks. Well, old Jeff gets run over. It was totally scrapped. Lust for human blood. Oh man, that was that was not uh, not how I wanted to spend my vacation in the city. Hey kid, did you see that? I, Jeff just got run over by a taxi. I need witnesses out here. I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. I don't look like it though. Yeah, alright. Uh, why is this dead end up here? Is there anything worth noting about that? There's this, this dude up here. Come on in, we got the goods, G. What you looking for? Ooh. Ooh. I like the idea of this broken gadget. I ain't got money for it, though. I'll be back. I'll be back, black market dealer. I like you. What the heck? Why are you hiding? Why is that glowing? Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. Something's going on with this department store, and I need back there. Alright, there's... There's a sewer hole, so I need in the sewer. Okay. The boy stuck to the wall may be a peeping tom. Maybe. He's not. Alright, let's check out this dinosaur museum. Dinosaurs. Dinosaur museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. You still want to go see in? It's five dollars a piece. Sure, I got it. You'll find an academic researcher inside. Pretty cool, it won't really let me see the whole thing of it like this. Oh, well, but it will let me take a picture in front of it. Hey there, crazy guy that makes no sense in the concept of anything and just shows up to take pictures and I don't, maybe you're just a figment of Ness's imagination. He's the only one who ever reacts to you. And that's probably it. Just every once in a while, Ness just stops and uh, like, randomly for this image in his head takes this picture and everybody just lets it go they're just like ah, he's doing it again i know i know but just just let him it'll be over in like 20 seconds it'll be over in 20 seconds it'll be great dinosaur bones believed to be from southern scaradia don't ask for any details our research is continuing all right any of this stuff? No problem here. What are you? You look odd. It's a, you're just wearing like a big white gown? I'm so happy that there are some visitors today. These days, few people come in here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, they're all I've gotten out of my research. You want to hear more? Whispering. To tell you the truth. I heard the dinosaurs were found near the lower side of Scravia, and there were lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports. The dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Maybe. Huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. This museum should sell dinosaur and t-shirts. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur someday in my time. Good luck. 
Although maybe, you know, weird, weird shiz is happening in the world right now. Maybe. Oh, maybe. side there's gotta be a way to get into the sewer and I'll touch you I don't know if I need the PP pee -pee, but I'll touch you free PP pee -pee. why not take free PP pee -pee? it's free free highway PP pee -pee. back just in time to see me go back and catch that treasure reward for giving that dude a hamburger I found in the desert. Totally just, you know, I find a hamburger in the desert, I find a, good, a, a dude in the desert, hook the two up, get a million dollars a couple hours later. That's perfect, perfect economic planning. You're going through the cave. Ah oh, crud, this dude's this dude's not too deep in the desert, but he's deeper than I wanna go. Hello. Oh hello. I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Yes. Yeah, I want, I want to do the slots, there's, there's three dudes out here working hard to make this work. Ah, alright, alright, try again, try again, try again. Who needs a sugar daddy, we can just give a guy a trash burger. Oh, 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 yay! Amigo, you won! A very big winning, I think. Here's a very nice prize. For the very important amigo. Antonio's friends won a skip sandwich as a prize. Huh. Thanks, guys. That was fun. Three dollars for a sandwich. Very reasonable. Oh, man. This, this, they... Dude's looking for treasure, certainly not on this path. They're somewhere up in the desert again. I gotta find them. I gotta find these lamos in the desert. Where are they hiding? Where are they hiding? I found a chest. Prize varies depending on the symbols. The yellow dots is a chick. <laughs> oh, we found a thousand dollars in that present. Uh, someone is gonna come out to the desert, collect the thousand dollars they buried, and be sorely disappointed that we found it first. Oh no, we have the stroke of the sun. Not the stroke of the sun. So hot. Why is it got to be so hot? You, uh... Paula, you are the one with sunstroke this time. Don't worry, we'll heal ya. I have a lot of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about the dig, I can't help it. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good, we're good, bud, but I'm glad you're out here. Out walking in the desert, you may find yourself very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? What? Uh, all this money. Tighter life savings in the sand of the dusty dudes. Leaves present wide open. I don't know. If you're hiding your money out in the dusty dunes, I don't think it was gotten legitimately. I think you're, you're sitting on some hot dollars and waiting for things to cool off. Someone's gonna go out to collect like the the money that they stole weeks earlier. Be like, fuck, where'd I put it? Oh no, it's been taken. I 
only one it is. Uh, you, uh, I do. I think you should dig somewhere else. They have a live broadcast from the dig. I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. Well, you know, tune into my oh shit. I guess we're probably gonna go in there. I have been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what they'll find. Well, this is certainly the guy who was digging before. So we're gonna rest up and make our way into that cave. Uh, now it would make more sense to want to drop a save here in case we get murderized in the cave. But then I still wonder what I would do about, uh, my people who would come to unconscious. I would want them to be back up, so I'd much rather come to back or side. Thing. I guess. What's going on in this here cave? I didn't have, I didn't have a problem digging until I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to do anything. Don't worry, big Mr. Miner Man. These three children will deal with the monster slaying for you. We've brought toys and our brains. When you're a criminal, but some kid steals your money? Exactly. It's like the plot to some crazy Disney movie. <laughs> Beat up this thirsty coil snake. Oh, it wants to drink Paula. Well, don't let it. Alright, I'll heed that advice, but in the future I'd say hold off on the advice. It's it's fun for me to get caught off guard by things like this. Snakes! Snakes. I don't want to back my butt up into the snake. Alright, I'm not going to take a sneak attack from the snake because I have to back my butt up into it. That was all I was worried about with that snake. Oh, suddenly this one's fangs are poisonous. It can choose whether its fangs are poisonous for a bite or not. That is an interesting trait for a snake. I don't believe many, many snakes share that trait. When would a snake want to make a bite and not use its venom? That's a lot of things. Also, what is that? Is that is that a noose? Is that a turd? What is that? Is it a broom? C come here, but don't bring your duck friends. Come here. Come here. No, don't bring your duck friends. Come here. No, you brought your duck friends. It is a noose. It's noose man. Kind of a weak pun. I get it. Alright, well, you do that. We're gonna roast us some, uh. Wait, what are these? It's just mad ducks. Mad ducks aren't that powerful. Let's get them out of here. I got scared of the ducks all for nothing, but they're ducks that we've seen before. These ducks need not be worried about. The noose. Maybe. Maybe we need to worry about the noose. But it doesn't seem so. Certainly want to get the noose out of here. It is menacing and dangerous. Oh jeez, what is... Hi. That's... That's one of the moles I'm supposed to exterminate, huh? I can see why it's a problem, big miner man. And you're okay with sending children in here? Shame on you. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all holes, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. All right, middle guy number three. <laughs> number three. All right, well, 
Let's take, uh, you know, about a middling shot at him if he's the middle guy. Let's take a spy at what the middle guy looks like and get an idea of what all the moles might be. Ooh, number three does not like that ice damage, but he did dodge out of the way of the hit. Ooh, that was not good on that. Lots of defense, vulnerable to flash. All right, well, we may flash him after we make sure that Jeff is alive, but you know, knowing that freeze was super good, let's just do a big old freeze. Get messed up. There we go, we don't even need to worry about nothing else, just blah, blah. Dropping pee pee everywhere and getting rid of moles. Ooh, good level up. Can we get a lot of PP with this level up, maybe? That was a lot of vitality and a lot of HP. And a good amount of PP, too. And Paula's level up is sad. Well, that's a shame. Paula, you did all the work in that, and that just kind of stood there and watched. An IQ capsule. Well, why don't I make... Uh, yeah, let's just make Paul's IQ better. I could be entirely wrong, and it could potentially be very easy for me in game to find out, and I do not want to be told or look it up myself. But I imagine that the IQ is tied into psi powers, uh, strength. So if by giving her a higher IQ, her freeze, fire, thunder will all get better. That's my theory. I can't see what other stat might do that, but not I think it might, no stat might do that. The only other thing I could see, Jeff has a high IQ without using it for any sort of uh, psi stuff. Maybe he's rolling his fixing stuff upon rest off of uh, his IQ stat. That would make sense too. I don't know. I do not know. I do know that Jeff needs some help. And then we're gonna kill this snake, see what's at the top of the ladder, and probably end the episode. Slash take our short break, and then be back for more of what's going on in Mole Land Dungeon. Where there's two moles that are better than that one, but that guy wasn't that good, so I'm not too worried about it. Mad Duck can make me spend pee pee. How can the mad duck make me pee pee? I'm not okay with that. No, no, no. I see why mad ducks are in here. The war of attrition. Mm -mm -mm. Fix up Paula. Fix her up for reals. What's up this ladder? What do we got up the ladder? A snake. Ah, we can end this episode by beating up a snake, but then we accidentally click down the ladder and there's no more snake. Well, we can end the episode with uh, beating up the snake with making him disappear. <laughs> so, we'll finish up the rest of this maze next time. Dun dun.